We'll continue now with Auburn's Gus Malzahn, the Tiger Central on the SEC Network. To uh, ask a question for Coach Malzahn, please press star 1 on your telephone's keypad now. And Coach, while we don't have any questions, if you could take a moment to comment on your team uh, as you enter the Arkansas game on Saturday. We had a really good off week. Um, we've had a solid week of practice so far. Uh, looking forward to get back on the field, uh, on the road. And the SEC is never easy, and uh, we know we're going to get their best. And, uh, and our guys are looking forward to looking forward to the game. First up, we have Brandon Marcello of Twenty Four Seven Sports. Yeah, hey Gus. Um, hey Brandon. I, I was wondering. You know, I was looking through the stats here. After this game, you would have played three of the top four passing offenses in the SEC, plus you placed, played an Oregon team with a first-round quarterback and one that's ranked near the top of the nation in passing. How do you think your defense has dealt with that uh, against all these teams that have thrown the ball so often early in this season? I think they've done a very good job. Um, you know, I think we've uh, done a good job of affecting the quarterbacks and uh you know, our defensive backs, I think, have done a very solid job because we have played some very talented uh, quarterbacks, but also some very talented receivers. You know, your players were talking about sometimes it's, you know, you only have one interception this season. Sometimes that's just because of scheme and the way you guys play. What what, what do you think of that? What, why, why have you guys not had more interceptions against these teams that like to throw the ball more? Well, we've been close. Uh, you know, we've we've had some opportunities. We got to seize a moment. We got a chance to get get our hands on the ball and really feel like the second half of the uh, the season. I think that number will grow uh, dramatically. Thanks. Who's that? Hey, Gus. Chad's uh, hey, reevaluating the quarter. Hi there. Uh, Chad said he's reevaluating the quarterback situation this week. I'm wondering what you've seen out of. Ben Hicks and Nick Starkle, and, and really the fact that the, the backup has come in and oftentimes performed better in some of the games. Well, I think you're right. I think they got two guys, uh, two guys that can get the job done. And, you know, they've got the luxury of uh, if a guy's not doing great to bring another guy in. I think you're exactly right that the, the backups went in and, and really gave them a spark. And so really our approach is, you know, we're expecting to probably have a chance to, to see both of them. And uh, that's happened you know, a few times this year. And last year's game, you guys didn't quite uh, put up a bunch of offensive numbers that you are accustomed to. What was Arkansas doing in that game? You talking about last year? Yeah, you got last year's game. Yeah, yeah, they got after us. Uh, you know, they stuffed, uh, stuffed our run, um, did a very good job of eliminating uh, the big play. Uh, they kept uh, kept things in front of them. Um, like I said, I think they held us at 225 yards. So they flat got after us in a lot of different areas. Had a good scheme, and their players executed it. Next is Chip Sosa, the Associated Press. Coach Malzahn, we uh, uh, know that you've had a relationship with Coach Morris dating back to when you guys were high school coaches, and he's, you know, kind of in struggling a little bit now. What what advice, you know, could you give him, and you know, to kind of, you know, going through a rough patch like this? Well, I mean, he's an excellent football coach, and I think uh, the glaring thing that stands out to me is his guys are playing extremely hard, and. You know, that's a tribute to him and the staff. And uh, like I said, there is some, some other teams around the country that lose a game or two and, and uh, you know, they don't play hard. And so, you know, he'll hang in there. Uh, he'll get the thing turned around. There's no doubt about that. You see him getting closer. I mean, they, they could have won the last two games and had opportunities. And it's just a matter of time before they, uh, you know, get over that hump. Gus, when you when you made that transition going from Springdale to Arkansas and then to Tulsa, what was the biggest you know part of the transition that you know that got you to a comfort level you know where you could say to yourself, okay, now I feel like I really am a college you know I'm ready for this college thing. Yeah, I, I think it's getting used to everything outside of the football. Uh, that's probably the the number one thing looking back. Uh, but then when you have success. Um, you know, uh, doing something, you know, and get confirmation. I think that's when 
really for me that uh, you know it clicked. This is Steve Moulton on WDZN. Hey, Coach. How are you today? Good. With um, a booby on the shelf, uh, how much do you think is that is going to affect the run game, you think, this weekend, Coach? Well, we're going to have the same approach we've had. I mean, we're a run play action team. Um, you know, we need to run the football effectively to be at our best. So, you know, we're not going to change anything as far as our approach. Uh, you know, we just need to have some guys step up, and I really think uh, that we'll do that. Uh, we've had some guys that had an excellent week of uh, practice. I think it really helped us having an off week, um, you know, losing a, a key factor like that. That, that definitely helped us. And now a lot of attention on uh, Cam Martin, but uh, maybe a kid like Harold Joyner, what does he bring to the table, Coach? Yeah, Harold's a big guy, a big athletic guy that uh, has done some good things for us uh, this year. Uh, and I think, you know, this off week has been really good for him uh, also and uh, got more reps with the guys, and I think that will help him moving forward. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Coach, thank you for your time. Thank you.